Hello friends, my name is Cassie and this is my first video in quite a while on my channel But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why before I get into the video I wanted to say that I recently hit 500 subscribers and that is wild I appreciate you guys so much that 500 people enjoy listening to me talk. That's wild Thank you. Thank you so so much if you are new to my channel or if you've been around for a while And if you're not subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button so that you will be around for all the happiness and wonderful life inspiration to come! At least that's all I can hope to offer. In this video I'm going to be talking about the month-long January experiment that I did for my happiness project in regards to social media and electronics detoxing. If you have no idea what my happiness project is, I'll link a video down below that I made quite a while ago and I don't look very cute in it. But it's all about my happiness project and I also have a blog that has a ton of information about what all the months are, but essentially it's an 11 month project that I've been doing since last June. I have two more months left after February and each month is dedicated to a different area of my life and to see how it affects my happiness. So for the month of January I decided to incrementally detox myself from social media and electronics both. Throughout the month I filmed some clips of my reactions and how I was feeling. I'll insert those as I talk a little bit and then at the end I'll have a summation of how I think it went. So hopefully this is interesting to you guys. Let's go. For the first week of January, I cut out completely YouTube and Netflix. I couldn't watch any TV, basically, and that continued for the rest of the month. But that was the first week. Here's my clip from that week. Today is January 1st, 2017. Happy New Year. Although by the time you watch this, it probably will have been 2017 for like a month. Or a month and a half. Today is my first day not watching YouTube or Netflix for the entire month. So far today, I've been able to kind of keep myself busy. I went to Ikea and got some things to spruce up my bedroom. I got a nice succulent and named it Jeremy. I ate some snacks and didn't watch anything while eating them. I just ate and looked out the window and savored my ranch dip. I did some writing in my journal. I got bored so I just decided to film this. Once school starts up, I think that it will be easier because pretty much all I've been doing over winter break is either editing or watching Netflix or catching up on vlogmas videos but all that stuff is out of my reach now. Also last night was my first night plugging my phone in across my room. I woke up a couple times in the middle of the night and I couldn't check what time it was so I have no idea when I woke up last night but I woke up a couple of times. When I woke up first thing in the morning I just kind of laid here and instead of first thing checking all my notifications I just kind of laid in bed and thought about the day ahead and it was pretty nice actually. Overall not a bad experience. I think that the hardest part is going to be the YouTube and Netflix just because that's my main source of entertainment most of the time. Then the second week I cut out all social media. So now I'm not using YouTube, Netflix, or any social media. That means Snapchat, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, any of those things where you can post about your life I couldn't use. Here's my clip from that. Hello, I'm crouching down all weird because I just have like my camera propped up on my window sill right now. Today's January 9th. It's Monday, which means today is the first day that I'm not using social media at all. I haven't watched YouTube or Netflix. Netflix for an entire week and the first couple days were a little dull but then I put seven library books on hold so I've been reading a ton lately and finding a bunch of great books that I really like and also working on an art project for school that I care about. I think that I've been really productive. I've gotten higher scores on my AP US history quizzes this week than usual. I got 10 out of 10 on the first one back from break. I think that means I'm more productive. Today's my first day without social media. Yesterday I deleted all my social media apps. I didn't just log out. I deleted them. I used to have Snapchat in the little menu bar at the bottom so I moved my meditation app to there because I had Snapchat there. I used it so much that it it was in my all access bar. It's so weird this morning because I think I look really cute right now. I did my hair all nice and I'm like casual in my cute senior sweatshirt and I was going to take a picture and put it on Snapchat but I can't do that. I just have to appreciate my good looks on my own. I think that social media is going to be the hardest. All I really do on my phone other than that is check my email, check my horoscope, text my friends. For this week, I won't be using social media and I'll update you later. The third week, I cut out my phone usage completely. The only thing I could use my phone for was to call people. I couldn't check my email, I couldn't check my horoscope, I couldn't text people. I could use my meditation app and music because I would have gone crazy otherwise. But 
no phone, just calling, meditation, and music. Today is January 17th. It is a gloomy Tuesday. Starting yesterday, I can only use my phone to call people and for my meditation app. Little did I know that this month is actually the worst month to do this detox from electronics because we have had a seven day weekend. It snowed so much last Tuesday night that they canceled school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today. And then Monday we didn't have school because it was MLK day and obviously Saturday and Sunday was the weekend. So I haven't had school in seven days and I haven't been able to watch anything. I haven't been able to post anything about the snow. I am just going crazy. As of yesterday, I can't really talk to my friends. So I have no human contact because most people, when you call them, they don't pick up and I can't text them and be like, please pick up. So far this weekend, I have gone stir crazy. I've knitted three hats. This one I'm wearing and I made my mom one and I made my friend Lauren one. Moving on to my other friends after I take a yarn inventory. I'm the type of person who feeds off of human contact. So when I don't have it, I just knit three hats. If I had known that this would happen this month. <laughs> All I was doing over winter break was watching Netflix and working on YouTube and different things like that. And one of the parts that makes me the most mad is that I'm getting this bored. I think that if I was able to go out and hang out with my friends, I'd be doing better. It's really the human contact thing that is getting me the most, not the not being on electronics, but it's just the human connection aspect of it because I definitely thrive around people. That's just my update for you. Hopefully you'll see me again and hopefully I won't be insane. And then for the final week, I cut out all electronics altogether. So I couldn't go on my computer. I couldn't check my YouTube comments. I couldn't see how many subscribers I had. I could check my email and schedule college visits. Other than that, I couldn't do any electronic thing if it wasn't related to school. Here's my clip from that. Hello, today is January 25th. Fifth, exactly a week from today, I will get my phone back. I'll be able to use all my electronics, some of them for the first time all month or all year. <laughs> Okay, this week has been going fine so far. After the crazy snow days ended, I got back in the swing of things and I've been very productive with the semester ending and such. I'd say the hardest thing about not using my phone in particular is not being able to text because I don't really text for sport very often, but I do use texting for just practical reasons to get a hold of my mom or ask my friends about assignments or our dance schedule or different things like that. I've been having to give people phone calls for that and my my friends Jessica and Janelle in particular usually don't pick up. Some people don't pick up and I leave them voicemails and they don't call me back. I've gotten increasingly frustrated about that and I've made sure that people who call me, I call them back as soon as I can because now I understand how frustrating that is. I think that texting is the hardest thing to cut out. I'm pretty much fine with social media. It's definitely weird not sharing so much of my life, but it's kind of refreshing to not know anything about other people's lives unless they tell me. It gives me some perspective about what an invasion of privacy social media can be but I am excited to get back to my normal life and my normal communication with people. Yeah, it's been a change, but I think it's been a good change and I'm glad that I did this month, even though it has been hard at times. I'll update you later. As I think I mentioned in that last clip, texting was definitely the hardest thing to cut out. And as I went through the weeks, I would say, I think that this week is the hardest. I think that this week is going to be the hardest. I think that this week is going to be the hardest. Having now done all of it, I can confidently say that cutting out texting was the least convenient thing that I could could have done. Not only did we have snowmageddon and a seven day weekend so I couldn't talk to my friends, it's just so convenient to be able to text people, whether it's my mom telling her I have to stay after school, asking some of my friends about an assignment, anything, it's just so much more convenient when you can text. Overall, I really enjoyed this month. It was definitely difficult and I definitely will not cut social media out of my life altogether. Now that it's been a little over a week since I got my electronics back, I can definitely see that I appreciate what's around me more. I have spent a lot less time scrolling scrolling through social media when I'm bored. I've been more productive and I've been more active about getting things done instead of procrastinating using social media. I haven't checked people's Snapchat stories and I haven't felt bad about my life because of seeing other people's lives. And I've started something this month called No Filter February where on my Instagram, I'm not using any filters or editing on the pictures that I'm posting. It's kind of just an experiment for myself to remind myself that I use social media for me. And of course, it's an added bonus that I get to connect with all of you guys through YouTube and with my friends who I maybe don't live in the same town as through other social media. But in the end, social media is a documentation for me and my life so that I can look back and 
see it. And that's exactly what my YouTube channel is too. I'm really, really proud of this month and I highly recommend it to anybody who feels like they're addicted to their phone. Even if you just take a week where you cut everything out and just see how you feel. Nothing terrible can happen and of course set restrictions that work for your lifestyle, but doing something like this really, really helps you gain perspective on what is important in your life, things you want to focus on in your life, and what things are worthless to waste your energy on. This month, February, is now my gratitude month, and I think that the social media detox was an awesome way to bridge into that, because now I'm focusing on being grateful, and of course, I've always been grateful, but coming off of a little bit of a isolation in my own world, I feel like I appreciate everything even more. As a social person, I definitely couldn't cut social media out altogether, and especially since I'm going to be going to college soon, and I won't be able to talk to my friends as often as I can in person. I think that social media and electronic are an amazing communicative learning tool and they're great. It's how you use them and I definitely have reassessed the way I use them and I think that that is what this month was all about. I'm very proud of how it went. I'm really happy that I did it and I'm really excited for February, my gratitude month. I've been keeping a gratitude journal that I really love. If you guys want me to talk about it, definitely let me know. Maybe I'll make a video that's like things I'm grateful for or how to be grateful. How to be grateful. We should all know how to be grateful. That's, that's lame. Anyways, if there's anything you guys want to see from me, let me know. If you do something like this, definitely let me know what you thought. If you had the same experience I did, if you had a completely different, horrible experience, which I hope not. I don't want to inflict pain in any of your lives. That's the opposite of why I make these videos. I hope that you are all having a fantastic day and you enjoyed this little insight into my detox from the electronic world. It was really great and I'm super glad that I did it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Check out my blog about happiness. There's a lot more information about this month. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you do something that makes you happy today. Make sure you tell someone that you're grateful for them and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!